How's it going guys, TexHD here, and after about a month or so, we're finally bringing back Hunt for McDavid. If you guys didn't know, he's actually now a gold card, and he's in the team of the week, so I figured what better time to bring this series back. When he became a gold card, I wasn't really sure what to do with it, but a bunch of you guys said, keep doing this series, and so I figured let's bring it back. I'm always going to do like this one final Hunt for McDavid when we're still in bronze packs, and like basically spend all the coins I had until I pulled him, if I pulled him, but... Didn't end up doing that, probably for the best. I probably would have wasted so many coins and we probably wouldn't have got them. So we're going to try to get the gold McDavid now. Before we do that though, we'll look at how much, uh, I guess both McDavid's are going for. Kind of give us an idea of what we can get here. So obviously he's worth a lot more now he's a gold card, but the packs to get him are also a lot more expensive. So I think it probably evens out-ish. So we'll see here what the base McDavid is going for. Uh, looks like he's going for a little under 100k. Uh, his November's like 400k, his team of the week's about 200k, so obviously an awesome player to get. Um, what we're going to do though guys, to kind of mix it up I guess, make it different from other pack openings, I guess and also, I'll also kind of like keep it the same as the Hunt for McDavid. So when we did the Hunt for McDavid when he was a bronze card, we opened up 10 bronze jumbos, 2500 coins, 24 items, 4 bronze rares. So to keep it in the same vein, we're going to open up 10 gold premium, gold premium jumbos, the 17 FK packs, they're also 24 items. We actually get three more rares here, so we technically have a better shot of McDavid, but I believe there's less bronze players than gold players, so it probably works out to about the same odds. So as opposed to opening up special packs, which give us a much higher chance of getting McDavid, we're going to open up these regular gold premium jumbos. So if we can get them in here, it's like a lot, I guess, uh, more... I guess he's worth the same, but like uh, pulling him in one of these packs is a, like, a lot harder, so I think it'll be better for the series to try to get him in one of these, make it just as difficult as opposed to like an ultimate pack or whatever, so... Also, I don't really open up too many of these. So this first pack here looks like we're going to go 0-1 to start off for the Gold McDavid. Also, guys, definitely let me know if you like this um, setup or not. I think it's pretty cool, but obviously you guys might have different opinions. This one doesn't even look like it has a rare player in it. Lots of consumables, though. That's it. The third pack here, Drysaddle 3. Drysaddle is also another card that got a gold upgrade. I actually pulled him in a video with Duke. I believe it was a, uh, I forget what it was, but it was some video with Duke. Um, it doesn't look like anything in this pack. These packs are actually like pretty bad. The players are getting some good consumables, but that's really it. So while we're opening packs for McDavid, guys, I figured I'd talk about McDavid maybe. I don't know how, I'm sure you guys follow the NHL. He's finally back from injury about the same time he became a gold card, which is kind of cool. And like he's going off right now. That's why he's got that team of the week, which would be amazing to pull. It's probably tougher to pull than his regular card, so. Uh, we're going to have to keep opening these packs to try to get him. I really don't expect to get him here, but if we do, it, like, how awesome would it be to you know, get him uh, when he is a team of the week. Let's skip this one. Finally get a couple rare players there, but they're not too great. It's going to be tough to get him in uh, one of these packs. So we're halfway through the packs now, guys. we got five more to go. Here we go. CC. Um, let's see. Burrow. Shane Team Tampa. Still no McDavid. Gonna try the first pack here. Uh, we get Noah Hannafin, so I mean, same draft year. We're getting close. Uh, it's glitched. We get some jerseys. Uh, it doesn't look like he's at the end. One card I didn't even realize we got, guys. This new Wild jersey goes for a thousand, so that's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that. If we get the new Red Wing Stadium uh, series jersey, that'd be awesome. That one goes for like 10 or 15k, but I'd probably keep it. So just keep an eye out for that. If I end up discarding that, not noticing, I'd be pretty rattled. So three more packs to go here, guys, in this Hunt for McDavid episode. You go with the middle pack there. Dry style three. Uh, let's watch this one open up, I guess. Hopefully, hopefully. How amazing would it be to Nugent Hopkins? I got trolled hard there. I thought we actually had him. Um, let's see. Just rare. Yeah, just rare consumables at the end. A couple packs left here. Let's try some back and forth. See if that helps us out. Here we go. Uh few rare players there, which is actually pretty good. It seems like it's usually consumables that are rare for these packs. This is a pretty bad one, though. Last pack here, guys. Again, let me know if you like this new uh, setup or not product from McDavid. I think it's really the best we can do here uh, with him being a gold card. It looks like we're not going to get the Team League McDavid, at least not in one of these packs. We could get him in, like, another pack opening. But like I said, I don't think it counts. To have, like, the same odds, around the same odds, you need to get him in one of these. Uh, we get Hornfist there and Horvat. It's not terrible, but... Yeah, overall these packs are pretty bad. 10 packs, I don't think I kept a single player to sell, aside from like keeping for a collection. So, anyway guys, that's the end of this Hunt for McDavid episode. Let me know if you enjoyed it. If you did, leave that thumbs up. Stay tuned for more. I do plan on doing an Austin Matthews, Hunt for Austin Matthews as well. We'll be opening up 10 silver packs, trying to pull him. 
He was going for like 100k now, I think a little bit less, but still definitely worth pulling. Plus, we can just get some solar pack videos up there. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.